This video demonstrates the installation process of the Solis Commercial High Voltage Hybrid Energy Storage Inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and verify that all of the accessories have been provided in the box with the inverter. The inverter is heavy. Please utilize proper lifting techniques whenever moving the inverter. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for proper ventilation for heat dissipation and avoidance of direct sunlight. When the inverter is operating, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltages. It is recommended to install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Install the mounting bracket. Adequate space should be provided around the inverter's installation location. After determining the location where the inverter mounting bracket will be installed, Fix the mounting bracket to the mounting rack using fixing bolts. Tighten the nuts. Fix all four corners of the mounting bracket in the same way. Mount the inverter. Raise the inverter slightly above the mounting bracket. Align the inverter hooks with the hooks on the mounting plate and slowly lower the inverter until the hooks on both sides interlock with each other. Install the hex set screws included in the accessory kit into the holes on each side. Grounding conductor connection. Connect grounding conductors to the ground bar inside of the inverter wire box using a Phillips screwdriver. DC side connection. When the PV array is exposed to the sun, the DC conductors coming from it will be energized with high voltage electricity. Before connecting the PV strings to the inverter, please ensure that the VOC and ISC off. The PV strings will not exceed the limitations of the inverter once the array is connected. Any PV module connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. This ensures the system will operate at maximum efficiency. Listen for a click sound. This indicates that the connection is properly secured. AC side connection. Unscrew the six screws with the screwdriver and then remove the cover of the wiring box on the inverter. Unscrew the terminal of the AC port. Run L1, L2, L3 and neutral wire through the AC port. Then connect these wire to the corresponding terminal. Connect the ground conductor from AC port to the ground terminal block. Unscrew the backup terminals, run L1, L2, L3, neutral and ground conductor through the backup port. Then connect these wire to the corresponding L4, L5, L6 and PE terminals. Unscrew the terminal of smart port, run L1, L2, L3 and neutral wire across the smart port. Then connect these wire to the corresponding terminal. Connect the ground conductor from smart port to the ground terminal block. Now all power wires are connected. Battery connection. For battery installation instructions, please refer to the battery manufacturer's manual. The positive and negative conductors from the battery terminate in the BAT plus and BAT ports.
Communication connection. Please set CT1, CT2 and CT3 respectively in the corresponding grid connection point L1, L2, and L3 and connected with the internal terminal row of the inverter. The white line of CT1 should connect it to port 1 of the terminal block, the black line connected to port 2 of the terminal block. And the following CT2 and CT3 are connected to ports 3, 4, 5, and 6 in turn. If you want to install the meter, please refer to the meter wiring diagram in the user manual. Pass the battery communication cable through the CARM port at the bottom of the inverter. Insert the communication line terminal into the BMS1 port on the inverter terminal block. The other terminal is connected to the battery BMS port. If you are installing a Solis data logger, please remove the black protective cover and then insert the logger into the USB port. Please connect it to the inverter bottom. Remove the protective cap on the antenna port and then connect the provided antenna by twisting it clockwise. When all installation and testing is complete, you can close the protective cover and tighten the six screws. Starting up the inverter. First, please visually inspect each cable termination and ensure that all conductors are connected properly. It is recommended to give each cable a gentle tug test to verify that the connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker. Turn on the battery. Before closing the DC switch, Use a multimeter to verify the DC and AC voltages for each set of conductors. Then turn on the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up and begin to generate after 5 minutes. Log in to the Solis Cloud app. You can download the Solis Cloud app by scanning the QR code on the quick installation manual. Turn on Bluetooth switch on your mobile phone and then open the Solis Cloud app. Click More Tools Local Operation Connect with Bluetooth Select the Bluetooth signal from the inverter. If you are the installer, please select the account type as installer. If you are the plant owner, please select the account type as owner. Then set your own initial password for control verification. Remember the password you set, which you will need to enter the next time you log in. Quick settings. You can quickly set the inverter date and time by selecting follow phone time. Set the battery model. If there is no battery connected for the moment, please select no battery to avoid alarms. You will be using CT or Eastern 3P meter. Set grid code. Please select the grid code according to the local country standard. Set the work mode. Recommended setting is self-use mode. This mode can maximize the use of PV power generation for commercial electricity, or store it in batteries and use it for commercial electricity. To manually control the battery charging and discharging with respect to time, please use the time of use switch and the following set points. The allow grid charging is recommended to be turned on. Backup mode can be opened in the self-use or feed in priority mode.